And they but, don't know us now. Right. But mm -hmm. because they don't know us now, they haven't seen the whole mm -hmm. uh, maturation process and all this other stuff that went on. Like how we went from, you know, being immature about this one situation when it comes to relationships to now being more secure in ourselves and being like, I don't really need a relationship to define me. But if your family's still putting that on you because they're like, oh, you still haven't found anybody yet? I know you must be mad. You're like, what the f***? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm happy being single right now. Like, I'm not even looking for nothing right now. So that's just an example. But there's a lot of times pressure from family members because they're expecting that version mm -hmm. that you left them with. Yes, yes. <laughs> Versus the version uh, that Who you grew into. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. talk about like uh, spiritual growth um mm -hmm. mental and emotional growth so and right on the cusp of the uh fall equinox yes which is on wednesday yes, yes. so with that our topic for today is winter is coming <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> how to prepare for sad or sad yes so that leads us into the first question. Let's flip the coin. Again, uh, Oso will be leading in this episode, so I don't know why. Why he's you gotta take away from my joy? See, you you're have, making me okay. Sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I don't. See, okay, well, he's answering first anyway. So the first Heads question is the first question is that he will be answering first. Hesitate. You can call it. Hey, no, it has the tails. Ladies first. <laughs> the first question is, oh, <laughs> what is SAD? What is SAD? Okay, I have to. Don't make me sad. <laughs> Heads and tails. Oh, uh, you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> You said heads first, so cool. Ah, you lost tails. Now I get to go first. It's the little things, isn't it? No. Sometimes it's, yeah, I fun with the bug. I ain't never wrong with it. I ain't never wrong with it. Anyways, what was the question? <laughs> see. What is SAD? What is SAD? Okay, SAD. Uh, I did some research on this, guys. Hence, he went to Google. Yeah, that's research. <laughs> that's the best research you can do these days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta be. If you know how to look. Exactly. Them, you can look for peer-reviewed articles, all that stuff. Mm. But anyways, besides the point. So, uh, seasonal affective disorder. That is what SAD stands for. So, uh, it's, a, it's a thing. It's an actual thing. And it's really described as depression and the symptoms that come along with depression. Usually showing up when the seasons change. And a lot of times, for people, it's during the winter time. Now, they're all cases, you know. So it's it's seasonal. So whatever season it might be, um, that's when, if it's affecting you, that's when it's happening. But for a lot of people, it happens during this winter-ish stage because of a couple of factors. Um, I'm trying to make sure I'm not bumping into any other question while I'm answering this. No, I'm good. I think so. Yeah. So, some of those factors are the fact that, you know, the sun's going to go down a lot faster. You know, the days earlier. are earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the uh, days are going to become a lot shorter. And the nights are going to become a lot longer. What that does as, as just a natural consequence of how we are as human beings, we like the sun. We like being outside. We like being social. And we I like the vitamin D that we get from know, the sun. Especially you know as mean? melanated folks. <laughs> For sure. But I also want to point out, like, back in the day, you stopped working at night. Right. <laughs> like, we're still, like, if the sun sets at five, we're still working to seven, you know? So it's it's like, so our brain... So much so push back the time, but we'll get to that later. Yeah, and our brain is like, hey, it's nighttime, go to sleep. And we're out still trying to be productive, you know? So, yeah, they didn't do that in the past. When right. it was nighttime, you... Stop Took working. your ass to sleep. Yeah. Because you literally couldn't work. Like a lot of stuff that we depended on the sun to see yeah. what our activities were back then. We may have had some minimal lighting stuff here and there, candles, torches. And, yeah, torches yeah. here and there, but like you can't illuminate a whole ass mm -hmm. workplace with just those things. So yeah, when nighttime came about, we were like, yo, let's shut shit down. So, anyways, when it comes to that 
those factors, it, it kind of creeps up, up on people like myself because I love going out in the sun. If you followed any of my social media or anything else like that, I always tell people to take walks. I'm always outside, either playing the guitar, uh, whatever, dancing, doing something mm -hmm. outside. And it's helpful because it does give me that release. The sun, again, the vitamin D, that energy is very helpful for my mental health. Mm -hmm. When it's colder, especially when it was on the East Coast, yeah. for all the people that's listening on the East Coast or to, uh, anywhere where that it is. snows really. Brick weather. Yeah, that weather where it's like, <laughs> <laughs> God damn. So you walk outside, somebody <laughs> hits you with that thing. Mm -hmm. For all y'all out there, y'all know what it is. You don't want to go outside that often because oh. of the circumstances of the environment around you. You know. <laughs> you know what I mean? You like to be inside all cozy, cozied up. You Hence know? cuffing season. <laughs> and that's what I was just about to get into. So for my single folk out there, shout out to y'all. You know what I mean? Ain't wrong being single. Or non-monogamous folks. For sure. For sure. For your thing. Um, for y'all, a lot of times during this period, uh, when the seasons are changing and it's getting a little bit colder, this is the time when a lot of families get together. This is a lot of time when there's a lot of traditions in almost all faiths around this time um, that have some type of celebration or honoring of their uh, cultural or uh, religious beliefs. And it's like all those things combine into like a lot of family pressure or, or at least a projected like idea of uh, togetherness. So if you're not together in a romantic, more romantic sense, uh, especially in this American society, a lot of times you feel that pressure more immensely when it comes to this time period, like when it gets colder and all the other stuff. So you might feel the pressure from that. So you're, you're kind of like stacking on stuff that causes people to feel down. That fear of missing mm. out, that fear of uh, all that other stuff, and the fact that you can't go out and just meet people all so readily. Some people are like inside and they're just like, man, I'm trying to be outside, Netflix and chilling. I got Bay right here. Why don't we go outside for? You know what I mean? You don't have that necessary access to someone right then and there. Um, it's low key, kind of like how quarantine was, where a lot of people figured out, like, you know, oh, I'm lonely right now, but usually it's only a season, literally only yeah. for a season. Yeah. And then when you hop out, you get to do hot girl season, hot boy season, whatever y'all be calling this season. whole ass you know year. I mean? Yeah, <laughs> but when you went through the whole year, you really felt like, oh my gosh, I want to be with more people. I can't really be out like that. Now, COVID, you know, that was like a, a bigger, I don't say it was, like it's over, but right. <laughs> the, the least quarantine experience, the initial quarantine experience, let's put it that way. You know. <laughs> the initial quarantine experience, that in itself uh, allowed the veil to be like kind of stripped off and a lot of people realized like, God damn, yo, I really need people. <laughs> Um, but again, that was an extreme version because you can't go anywhere. It's not like that in the winter. You can go, you know. You have to have places to go. Yeah, yeah. That's what I found out about in Chicago because like, Chicago didn't like completely shut down. And I guess New York doesn't either. But like for me, Chicago is a real experience. New York, <laughs> New York when I was younger, I was too young, you know what I mean? When I was over there, uh, for real. Like the only time I really got to experience it when I was about to leave. But Chicago, they had a lot of places where they set up infrastructure so that people could move around, like the heating stuff right mm -hmm. next to the train stations and everything else like that. Oh, that's I nice. used to love being there. I used to be like, yo, that's so nice. fucking cold. I used to run over yes. there. Woo! Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> this, this heat. But it would be, free, be freezing, but you have comedy clubs still open and all that stuff nice. still open. So you can still be social and do stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, but you gotta set up that infrastructure. Not everybody's got places like that. You know what I mean? Nobody, not everybody lives in Chicago. Or money like that. Or money like that. Yeah, all those factors. You know, outside is usually free, so. Right. <laughs> Parks and shit. Exactly. You know? Everybody go walk from park in the park. <laughs> yeah. Homeless man walking in the park all the time. You know. Shit. You got not, not a dime to his name, but hey, he enjoying that walk. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's all that. So yeah, all this stuff keeps stacking up and that's what really is creating this atmosphere like for um, depression. Also, a lot of times, uh, like I said, with the holidays, uh, there's a pressure to be with family, but also some people don't have the best relationship with their family. That so that can all, also add added stress to your, uh, to your life. Mm -hmm. So the stress of being with family members, um, falling back into, the identity or the role mm, that you used to play when point. you were younger. 
you know what I mean? Like a lot of us have grown the fuck up and we don't necessarily associate ourselves with that younger version mm-hmm. that other people know. Mm-hmm. And they but, don't know us now. Right, but mm-hmm. because they don't know us now, they haven't seen the whole mm-hmm. uh, maturation process and all this other stuff that went on, like how we went from you know being immature about this one situation when it comes to relationships to now being more secure in ourselves and being like, I don't really need a relationship to find me. But if your family's still putting that on you because they're like, oh, you still haven't found anybody yet? I know you must be mad. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm happy being single right now. Like, I'm not even looking for nothing right now. So that's just an example. But there's a lot of times pressure from family members because they're expecting that version mm-hmm. that you left them with yes, yes. <laughs> versus the version uh, that Who you grew into. Yeah, mm-hmm. for yeah. sure. So all that, just like a ball of stuff that just comes at you and it's like, ah, depression. You know, <laughs> you know I feel it, I feel it. You know? Um, it, yeah, I'm okay. good, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> uh, so on my end, hey, it's the Real Family. It's your girl, Rocky. And your boy, Elsa. And thanks for being here. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Right, because subscribing and hitting that notification bell does two very important things. One, it gives you notification on our new content and makes sure that you're up to date on everything that we put out every week. Every and, week. You know, every week. Every week. Uh, and then number two, it helps your boy and your girl out with some money. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it on. <laughs> <laughs> it's so real, baby. But in all seriousness, this is just like the video portion, the YouTube portion of our content. We are It's So Real Podcast. So we have all these episodes just waiting for y'all on how many platforms? 11 different streaming platforms. 11. So it's up to you to choose. Yeah, there's no excuses. We on air and things. So whatever platform you're most comfortable listening to stuff, your content on, we're right there for you. So look us up. It's So Real Podcast. And our link tree is available on our YouTube channel. Go over there, find the platform that works best for you, subscribe to our podcast, and hear the full thing, because we have a lot more to say than what shows up on our YouTube channel. Exactly. Um, with that being said, check out the rest of our videos while you're here. You know? <laughs> and be sure to subscribe. All right, y'all. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. And love.